Hello, how you doing? This is Vince Hughes with Still Estimating Solutions. This is video seven in the Still Erection Digital Takeoff Process video series. In this video, we're going to go over a tip one using auto count, which makes doing a quantity takeoff for your Still Erection takeoff extremely fast. Let's open up eTakeoff and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So of course, in a takeoff software, we, we, we can come in and we can count all these beams. Just run through there and count all the W16s, go to the next one and count all those. But to speed this process up tremendously, what we're gonna do is use the auto count feature. So the first thing we gotta do is set up the area we're gonna search, which I like in the takeoff. It allows me to assign exactly what I wanna search and the only area of the drawing that I want to search. Because sometimes you'll have some beams over in notes on the side, and if I can't assign the search area, it counts those beams as well, then I have to go delete them. So I set up the area real quick. And then I do, I, I select the, the search button, and I come and rope around the W, 16 and get the X side as well. I don't get uh, 26 because there might be some W16s by 60. So I'm just wanting to search for a W16. I can search all four rotations, uh, exclude previous count measurements, search immediately background. I'm going to do that. And just a note on the four rotations, it takes a little bit longer to search all four ways. So for the video, making this video shorter, I'm not going to search all four ways. I'm just going to do one way. And then I sign, uh, select the area that I'm searching. So I select the second floor. I hit search. What it's going to do now is it's going to run through the drawings and find all the W16s on this particular page. And the search result will kind of vary according to what the quality of the drawings are. You're still gonna have to go through and scan the drawings to make sure that you did get all the W16s. But it's a pretty simple process. You know, once it's counted, it's highlighted, so it's pretty easy to see what wasn't counted. But it just takes a minute to run through the search. And then once the search is completed, this window pops up and I get to see the results. <clears throat> There's a sensitivity button, so I can adjust that up or down to make the sensitivity, so in case it's picking up a bunch of junk, I can make it you know, more sensitive so it won't pick up as much stuff that I don't want it to. But you'll see here, there's a couple black squares there. I just click those, they turn white, that means they're not being counted. There's some W10s, I'll uncheck mark those. You all see some W18s, but since I'm looking for a 16 to 21, those are fine. And one feature I really like about eTakeoff is I can either save this, which will just count all those beams, or I can hit save and continue. What's cool about this feature is when I hit save and continue, it counts all those W16s, but now it leaves me these W10s still in the window. So I would just uncheck mark these little black things it picked up. I would edit my selection, so I would change it to a W10 beam and now it's a W10 so I'm gonna hit OK and I'll hit save and now you see it counted these W10s plus the W16s so you see I counted four W10s and 63 W16s in a pretty quick fashion and now we just go around the drawing and do the same thing again these 16 to 21s bubble around the W21, it pulls that in, hit search, because it remembers what I selected the time before in the filters. Now it's going to run through the drawings and look for all the W21s. So now that search is done, I'll uncheck mark what I don't want. And there's a W24, I'll uncheck mark that, hit save. And now the W21s, as you can see, are highlighted and counted. And I would just go around this drawing, and we got some W18s there, 
we'd search those, but I, I'm going to keep on doing it. You get the idea. And I think you can see how this can truly speed up your takeoff, especially when we got a really large project. This project here I use for demos, not real, you know, not real big, but some projects has a ton of beams on there. In fact, sometimes it's quicker on a smaller project just to run through there and count them. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to really speed up the process even quicker than auto counting, you know, all these W16s. I'll show you a quicker way in a particular project like the one we're looking at here to do this takeoff extremely, extremely fast. But that, uh, that concludes this video. I hope uh, you got something out of it and can see the benefit of taking your estimating process digital. Have an awesome day. Thanks.